Hello, I'm Andy War, and I'm back playing Soul Zero, and I've basically just started right from where I left off. Nothing's changed. <clears throat> Still kind of in a dead spot, waiting for more supplies to keep coming down to the planet. I think I've learnt a few lessons though. Just stick the refinery here. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I like to think I've learnt a few things, but I'm not sure I have. I'm just basically waiting for the next launch, which is coming up. There we go. So this is going to be another supply run. I've got no choice in the matter. Uh, might as well send up a full rocket. What can we do about these rockets? Well, that one we fuel and launch. Um, I don't like leaving these on automated mode. I worry about solar events and stuff like that. Base, do you read me? And I've just realised I've messed Base, up a little do you bit. Read me? So we want this to be straight. So I'm gonna destroy that and I can replace that with a hot bomber. Um, the reason I've done that is I'm going to stick another greenhouse here. I'm racking my brains then trying to work out why I've done that. Some kind of a special person. <laughs> I think I could do with a couple more forklifts. I'll stick that greenhouse there. And then go over here and build more solar panels. Base, do you read me? More solar panels. Right, you come down here and load up again. Actually, follow your little uh, astronauty pal. And we're going to get rid of that for you. Come on, yeah. Right, next I want a launch pad. How we're doing? Have to go there, which is another straight, and then a forward. Come on, load up. Now we want the launch pad. And we've got a few supplies left. But that's going to be interesting to see if we've got enough oxygen. That's a guess we don't have. So I want another oxygen generator in here. Uh, 
Uh, this one can get refueled and launched. That one can work. So, oxygen generator. No point sending supplies up into space if they've got no oxygen to breathe. And his last little supply can try and keep these things alive. <laughs> we are kind of starting to really push on the game. So my next big thing is I need water recycling on these. Hopefully I've built them. Juxtapus. Uh, that, that word that car seems to serve. So that, yeah, it does seem to affect how much water you get. I have been lied to. This one's only got one litre per salt. This one's practically useless, actually. Where's my... Base, do you read me? Can you, uh... Sorry, that's on me. Flow rate on this one's just so much better. And we will... Cryo tank water... Yeah, I can't get another cryo tank without sacrificing water supply. I'm gonna do it. Mostly because our next launch window's open. <sighs> so, we've got a new rocket available. We're sending one batch of colonists, uh, a ton of supplies, a uh, bulldozer, maybe a little less ton of supplies. And launch. Population too low to support the colony. My biggest concern is going to be the food. So that's increased by two just by moving it. I think. Yes, I have enough. Uh, we'll have one more solar panels knocked out. Just to be on the safe side for power. Come on, hobble over there as fast as you can. You load up. Oh, unload the bulldozer. Come on, over here. Right, I'm kind of deja booing here, so I don't like it. One over that. Oh, I've got my little rocket. Oh, enough water. Ah, yeah, water production's actually come Space. to a zero, which isn't brilliant. Get another solar panel off. Right. So, recycling centaur. I can't put one on any, either of them. Yeah. That the north. This is why I like two asteroids. I can keep one in the solar fields. I'm not bringing it. I'm gonna see if I can do it with just one astronaut because after a while, building work tends to go to, down to zero. So. You come down here as well. Uh, have enough recycling sensor on there, please. Oh, massive influx of water. And we're gonna get pallet system set up. 
Yeah, so we can unload these rockets quite quickly. Man. Are you gonna do that for me or are you just gonna stand there looking? Base, do you read me? Oh no. Base, do you read me? And you head back into the solar field and you pull those these rocks out of the way. Oh, I am out of supplies. You refuel and launch. Right, back into exploration mode. I love the fact that all these messages suddenly just appear again. Because, you know, you've not been exploring or anything. You can't tell me population is still too low to support the colony. I can't fit any more colonists in. That's not fair. Right, biology lab. What do I need for that? Eight population. So I need to expand the population a little bit. question is what are you thinking the last time I was expanding the colony down here but that was interfering with this massive ore patch I remember correctly it appears fairly quiet though get rough up there uh, don't want a 3d printer could do with a refinery but Oh, not automatic, oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, then. Okay, so move that rock out the way. Where? I mean, I literally think you should be able to leave these explorers just on automated mode. With the camera forklifts. Apparently that's not possible. Uh, right, we're going to have to send a small rocket down. Load them up with supplies. Actually, can we take another forklift just to be on the safe side? I think I'd rather have a rocket full of supplies. Take some food because I've got no surplus of food being generated. Uh, uh. Much of the grievance of the forklift, won't they? My idea is, I think, maybe build habitats in here, out the way. And 
them once I've mined all this out down here as well. I think that's my idea. Uh, let's have a look. I can probably fit a fair few habitats in here. Shame you can't land this to a grid and just start plonking the buildings down. You've got to build off this branch here. Uh, I'll bring you over here. Uh, habitat. I tell you to stop there. Actually, that's a better idea, isn't it? Let's get the dimensions 4x4. Four four. So as long as I start like around here somewhere, I'm good. I can get all along this back wall until I hit that block there. Which is the point. Now, when you build these out... Yeah. It's always... You're always going to have that one gap. No, you're not. So it's literally four by four all the way along. So four, 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 four. So it'll fit. I'll have a little bit of room at the top. Assuming I can get into this corner. If I can't, then I want to pull back one. I like that. Uh, so we want two straights. Can't we fuel that one yet? I can load you up. Load you up, and I can bring you around here then. Base, do you read me? Now. Do I have a forward there or do I have a forward there? That is the big question. Or I could have that's an idea. Go for forward there. And then go for four with her. Go straight up here. Now, the reason I've done this is I'm going to have an uh, airlock put in here and get an airlock put over here so you can walk through the base. You don't have to, but I don't think he can walk around that. Oh, he can. But it should help in the long run. It, sh it should just generally help in the long run, hopefully. Um, we'll have another straight button there. And then we will start with the power. And last but not least, we want a habitat. In No, we don't. Go with that. We want another hallway button in. And then we want hallway button in. Come on. And then we need you over here to get some maintenance done. I'm going to launch you. I'm going to get you to go pick up some more supplies. Ah, madness. Um, where's that small one gone? Can you launch yet? No. Nope. Not even close to the realms of possibility yet. Where's that fork with on? Right, 
Oh, da. And we're gonna need more solar, solar panels building. But hey, new launch window. We need a forklift to unload this truck. No, we want the bigger one. There we go. And we want to take as much supplies as possible. And we could probably take something else. Oh, maybe take a, a mineral extractor. But that leaves me with six crates. But at least I've got the mineral, mineral extractor ready then. Against possibly my better judgment, we'll launch with that. The next one will be just pure supplies. That's my idea. Well, pure supplies and probably another forklift. Uh, we've got one forklift coming over here. One of them. You come north for me. You automate. Uh, can you build me a couple of solar panels, please? Go down here and automate. You go up here. Automate, resupply, I meant. So we want, firstly we want this clearing out the work. Now where you are going, load up, habitat, and then we need some oxygen generators. Uh, we'll go. Can I even build an airlock here? Yeah, minuscule amounts of power. Thinking about it, I could have put an airlock on here. Hmm, that's an idea. Yeah, destroy that. And replace it with a forward. Uh, destroy that. Let's that way a straight hole. Then build me an airlock here. That can be so simplistic at times. Right, you go supply up. Right, next thing I want is a habitat building there. Actually, I don't quite want the habitat building yet, really. But it will find me with a, a bit of an outline. I really need the oxygen, oh, yeah, oxygen generator building. There we go. How are you? Not even close. Where's my little astronaut? That's the clock that I want to insert. But the trick here is to... Base uh, oxygen generator. Nice. Don't you dare build that habitat yet. Can you come down here? I want an oxygen generator there. Right. Build that up. Base, do you read me? Copy. Well then. Hopefully nothing bad will happen.
this should give me plenty of there we go I need you refueling for the next launch I hope you know this <laughs> Right, I need two greenhouses per four civilians. I've got four slots for the greenhouses. That's worked out quite nicely. Oh, that up here is still saying it's not got enough oxygen, which isn't a good sign, considering I've used up all the supplies. Just like one oxygen generator just doesn't cut it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock in the right direction. Oh! Okay, so we've lost a colonist. However, we're getting in a bit of food now. We've got to look on the price side of these things. <laughs> How we're doing so oxygen levels gone massively up still not enough to pressurize over here i wonder if that guy got trapped in here somewhere right. Come on, the club. Right, mine there. Launch. That one's off. Ah, oh, this is going to be a stretch. Um, I need to send more colonists. Not the best idea, but it needs to be done. More supplies, and that's all we can send at the moment. Uh, send a bit more food, a bit more water. So these guys are living on borrowed time until I get them greenhouses built and more oxygen generators built, and everything else built. Uh, come on, you. I need you to build me a straight hallway up here. And I need you to be quick about it. Uh, you, come on, down here. You know what? Take you off automation mode, send you up here. And stick you on automation mode. Come on, up here. Right, are you done? Yes. Load up. Load up. Get ready for the air. Uh, the greenhouses. Right, you. I need another strip hallway. Yeah. And then oxygen generator. Yep. And then we will open up that one. Oxygen generator. Let's take one on this side as well. Just double eminence. 
Oh, oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Right, astronaut, come on, we don't have enough time to be. You go finish off the oxygen generator. Build me a greenhouse. Yeah. You go load up again. Build me a greenhouse. Yeah. Finish that one off. Finish that one off. Right, not nearly enough power. Mostly because all the solar panels got a bit dusty. Come on, there's a little bit more gypsum there. Not enough methane. So, food should have balanced out again. Water's balanced out. You're getting solar panels back up and working. Uh, you come over here for solar panels and you come down here. I wish you could drive these things with the WhatsApp keys. That'd be kind of cool. The solar panel there. We'll get down here ready for the water expansion. Solar panel here. Solar panel here. Get down here. Uh, you fix that up. You get down here. I'm gonna launch this because it's in the work. No, we're not. I wanted another methane, methane tank to set up this episode, but I don't think it's gonna happen. However, I can bring another load of settlers. Well, kind of. Food's on the rise a little bit. Water's hit the cap. You build me recycling center. Actually, no, food's at, water's at the cap, which probably means I'm bringing in more than enough water. I don't want another recycling center. Um, I've got three left. How much is another methane, methane tank? Need to find somewhere good for another methane tank, anyhow. Uh, which is a good point. I need to find somewhere good for another methane tank. Um, could do with slightly more food production. That takes three, doesn't it? Yes, and free power. I've got enough power. Go on, fill that for me. The oxygen is, apart from this corner here, quite good. Nice and strong. Apart for this corner here. Could do with an oxygen generator, I think, there. Maybe. Um, could do with a refinery. Now then, one of these greenhouses isn't going to survive. Uh, want a new salt launch, but I haven't got enough methane. So it's just going to be a little one. How are we doing on time? Oh, we've gone over time, so I'll launch this and then I'll have to say adios for now. Uh, we're not really expanding this direction, so I'm going to land it there. 
go on automation, go on automation, get to it. And I'll say, add, I'm going to launch this one. Get rid of it. I'm going to say adios for now. Thank you for watching. I've been Andy Walk. This has been Soul Saver. And I think this one's going better than the last one. I mean, the colony is still too low to support the population. Blah, 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 blah. But it's it feels like it's going better. Which is what matters. Need to find a new methane spot. Thank you for watching and goodbye.